Welcome to Zion Hope Logistics. Today I will be talking about how you can actually add a new shipping address on your 1688 account. I realize that some people find it hard to add their shipping agent's warehouse address in China. They find it hard to add it on 1688 whenever they want to place another so i'll be doing a very special video today on how you can successfully add a new shipping address so if you are watching my video for the very first time please kindly subscribe to my youtube channel and we also have a telegram channel as well where we upload video where we share things together with some successful mini importers we rob mine together is a free channel in which you can just subscribe then view our videos and previous posts on mini importations and you can also DM me for your procurement i can help you to procure your goods then if you want to learn more about many importation you want to verify your early pay without having international passports if you want to learn how you can use a secret website to fund your early pay account all this is what we are going to be teaching you and you can also join my premium class if at all you have known about many importation you have go for the course but you are willing to learn more you can as well dm me I will be dropping all my contact information and my telegram group link in the description button below. So without wasting much of our time, let's dive into today's video. So let's assume I want to buy these slippers here. So I click on these slippers as you have, as you have all known how to get things done and you have all know how you can actually do this right so clicking on it takes me here to click on this again so click on this. it takes me to the full page of this um, product we am going to check it out and let's zoom i've already checked it out and i want to buy it as you can see is with cheaper price is 1.98 yuan let's just say 2 yuan so let's assume i want to buy this product right now i click on buy now there is, I believe there is no need of me translating this again because I believe if you have already watched my previous video, I have already shown how you can get things done. So let me just click on, let me cut like five items, all right? This is what I want to buy. This is the black color here. We have different colors. We have different colors of this item. Yeah, this is another color. So let's assume I just want to buy five items, which which is 25 RMB, 21 RMB. All right, I click on pay now. So clicking on pay now takes me to where I'm going to see the breakdown of this product, the logistic fee, how much they are going to charge me for the logistic fee, where I'm going to add my shipping address and all. As you can see, it's right here. All right, so now let me quickly break it down i don't want this video to be to be a very long one as you can see here here this is the local shipping fee all right that they are going to use to ship the product down to your warehouse and as you can see right here that this is 21 rmb to the total cost of the goods and if you are to click here okay hold on please if you are to click here you are going to see where you are going to see the total cost and the total kg of this product all right so now without wasting much of our time let me just go straight to where you can add your shipping address here up here as you can see that i have already have an existing logistic address there the china warehouse this is the, the China warehouse I use in China. So this is the warehouse, all right? Now, if I want to change it, let's assume I want to use a different warehouse here. How do I change the address? So now, what you need to do right here is to click on this arrow here. You click on this arrow, all right? So once you click on it, 
let me click on it first for you to see so it, take, it takes you to where you are going to add where you'll be able to add a new or a system right as you can see right now that i'm having just one address that i use all right now this is one address as you can see this orange button let me translate it first use temporary address this simply means that once you click on here you want to use this address maybe just once for this shipping you want to do or for this order you want to make once you use once you click on temporarily that means you want to use it maybe once or twice all right so if you want to use it you can just click on it then you had it let me translate the second option here the second option here is add new shipping address all right which is the one we are going to be using we want to add a new shipping address here so definitely we are going to click on the second option let me click on this arrow let me bring this arrow down here so you so you'll be able to see it let me drag this up let me drag this up all right so now this is where you are going to click for you to add a new shipping address and this is where you are going to click if you want to use a or you want to test a logistic company maybe once or twice you are going to click here all right so now let's click on add new shipping address so now clicking on it takes me here all right clicking on it takes me here the next thing you need to do here is we have two method of inputting your shipping address here all right now the first option is automatic let me highlight it for you to see this automatic is EA. this simply means that you are going to long press here you are going to long press here once you long press let me long press for you to see let me just cancel this first so now i have long press i have long press as you can see now that i have already copied the warehouse address so let me now paste so i paste automatically is going to is going to input it directly for me at the right places all right which is the best option i will be recommending for you now i have already pasted the address the shipping address now the next thing for you to do is to click on here so once you click that orange button here is going to fill it up directly here 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 and a and a is going to fill it up the right place for the options it's going to fill you up fill it up now the second option here is you can automatically add it and write it manually all right the first thing you will need to do if you are using this option is firstly you write your name here then you write the second the second option here you you translate it you input the zip code the town and the city you fill it up here automatically but the best option is the first one in which i told you you are going to paste it automatically then you click on let me let me just translate this option for you to see what i'm talking about all right so now i drag this for this to translate so for you to see what i'm saying can you see automatic identification all right it's going to identify it for you directly so i click on it for you to for this video to be clear so now i click on this for as you can see right now that it has already placed it at the right at the right place all right now you see that here it has been filled here it has been filled here it has been filled and here it has been filled and here it has been filled as well now i think there is an error here let me cancel this i think there is an error here although this is no i think i found this um shipping company on facebook so i just copied it for me to use it for this class so there is um i think the zip code you need to put a zip code here and don't forget whenever you are adding any address all right here you need to put your name here at the first place here you input your name there and your phone number 
all right and if there is any message you need to pass across you can later input it here in chinese or in english as well okay so that is how to add a shipping address now we get to this step i only have just one shipping address all right whenever you are seeing a red item or anything red in chinese here that means there is something missing as you can see it right here it simply means there is something missing here so this i have let, let's translate it for us to see what is going on and why it's not adding all right as i told you that this is not a is not a complete and confirm this thing so i need to let's translate it for us to see what is going on no no no, no. okay so let me just drag this down why i confirm okay let me translate it here and try to translate let me try to translate what is the phone number i thought as much as you can see it's right there that he said we have we have to have the phone number so now let me just put a in this case you have to put your chinese warehouse phone number here all right it says let me just add a random phone number here all right don't look for one of my chinese supplier so i input his number here then i have to cancel the calling code you know chinese calling code is plus eight c's so i have to cancel it all right so now after you've already filled up everything i told you not to forget to input your name here so let me just put something simple here let me put joseph here all right so all this haven't been said and you've already filled everything up so all the next thing for you to do now is to click on this orange button let me translate it for you to see add new shipping address so you just add the new address okay can you see now save and use this means they are going to save it to the in case you want to use it for a future purpose or you want to use it some other time so you click on save and use right so let me just click on it now for you to see what i'm saying So as you can see right now that it has automatically saved and it has directed me to the payment gateway all right as you can see now that i have joseph a and the number that i wanted to use so let me just show you as you can see that this is number that we just had it now and and this is the joseph that i just wrote here joseph and this is the number we just had it and this is the warehouse we just had it so all for you to do now is to just continue to with the payment gateway here which you are going to make your payments all right so that is that about let me just click on it before i end this video so for you to be able to confirm what i'm saying so i click on it so clicking on it takes me here all right now as you can see that i'm having my previous video uh, the previous um address here all right this the reason why this is not showing is that i have not made a complete transaction with this new shipping address all right now once i've been able to make a successful shipping address with this order that i'm placing now once i've made the payment and all that is going to save directly as you can see the other time that he said saved and used so once i use it once it's going to save directly so it's as simple as that all right see you in my next video